what's up guys and welcome back to my channel if you're new here my name is sarah i am 33 years old and i own a small bar restaurant called the beach house pub at buckeye lake in ohio so in this vlog we're gonna go over what it's kind of been like owning a bar restaurant in 2021 uh, we're gonna go do the behind the scenes look of kind of what it's what it is to run a bar restaurant, just the weekly grind and just the in and outs, what we like to call back of the house shit. So yeah, let's get into it. short backstory with me. I'm 33. I got the bar when I was 29 years old. I had managed another bar on Buckeye Lake and that's where the relationship happened to where I was presented an opportunity to buy this bar. Um, I've been in the industry for like 20 years since I was 14, which is weird to say. Oh my gosh. Sorry, realization. I've been in the game about 20 years and started started very at the bottom and then worked my way up and eventually I got to own my own bar. So that's my little backstory. And so a lot of this was filmed over the summertime. Um, at the time, I did not have a manager. Um, if you go back into my older videos, you can kind of see the progression of, of um, what it's been like. But so yeah, this was over the summer before I had a manager. Um, just being an owner operator, um, and I guess I won't call myself an employee, but, and just, you know, working proper shifts at the bar as well. So yeah, luckily now I am in a fortunate enough place that I can, I have hired a manager. I can afford to hire one, but it hasn't always been like that. So only in the past year have I been able to be in a place to hire management which has been an absolute blessing. So I can kind of focus more on like big picture, um, different avenues. I'm trying to branch out, trying to diversify right now. So yeah, so a lot of this footage was definitely over the summer when I was doing a lot more hands-on of the work, which I have done for the past like four years. So just know there's a lot of bills. A lot of bills, that's a big part of it. <laughs> a lot of people on the payroll, on the roster, so know that. A lot of desk work that happens. Okay, so today we are, I am just gearing up. I have a meeting tomorrow morning. So it's an employee meeting, much needed, very much needed. Finally staffed enough to even have a team meeting. So we're grateful, you know, the small things, we are grateful. Doing that, I gotta go down to the bar and cook for a couple hours. I got a large, like I got a cater order. So I'm gonna go down there, cook that, come home, prep for my meeting tomorrow. And just, I gotta be a good girl tonight. I gotta be good, I gotta sand, I gotta, it's business. It's a business week, so. <sighs> but you guys wait till I get a day off. I'm gonna go crazy. I'm gonna go fucking crazy. When I get a day off, that is. So be prepared. <laughs> All right, just started the cater order. We've got like eight more to go. <laughs> I actually have a good time back here. I put my music on, I get my vibe, I start slanging pizzas, we start, you know, just, just slanging burgers. It can be fun and therapeutic, believe it or not. All right, so it is just way too loud in the kitchen. So I took a few pics of the food that we serve at the beach house, just all American burgers, pizzas, deep fried foods, salads, um, just all American bar food. Alrighty, so I'm all set up for the beach house meeting. Um, this is our first team meeting since I took back over management. It's much needed. We're gonna go over just everything. Just everything. It's time to hold people accountable. Um, we're back fully staffed, so it is 10. 
Should we do a bar tour? I don't think we've done a bar tour. All right, so here's the bar tour. This is the outside. It's our little fire pit. Usually there's more chairs like around, but they break every weekend. Um, here is the tiki bar. And the patio. It's got like a Key West theme to it. Inspired by. This wall is really cool. It's got like some history. Somebody painted this mural years ago when it was the beachcomber. So yeah, there's our stage. We have bands, entertainment. Inside, here's the main bar. Just a little lake bar. Just a little lake dive bar. It is quite small in here. Um, our kitchen is very small. Check this out. So this is the kitchen. It is literally a one-man gig back there. So here's behind the bar. Got all of our liquors. And this is where we are. So on the map, we are located at Fairfield Beach. So it's this area right here. So that's literally my bar is like literally like right, right like here, I think. In that canal. So that's Buckeye Lake. That's where we're at. Yeah, I'm gearing up for a okay. meeting. Oh my God. Sorry. There's a human. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. Yeah. No, do you need some help? Um, it's just a couple of we got a helper right here. We got two helpers. Sorry. Don't be. All right, Miss Brittany bought us all coffees to keep us all in a good mood. We got snacks over here. Alrighty, so we just did our liquor order. Literally everything is a list. And then just when you get down with this list, there's another list. So don't even think about it. Just kind of living off a list for the past almost five years. Okay guys, so it is Monday. Mondays are inventory days. Um, I just dropped the first load of product off. Um, I got one more to go and I will tune back in with you when we get the load in here. You will be fucking amazed what can fit in a Volkswagen Beetle. Check this out. You know, it's too bad you guys can't jam out with me on the way to GFS because, honey, I get down in the car. Like, this is my happy place. I let loose. I put Paramore on. I put my Chemical Romance on. And I just express myself. And I'm not ashamed about it. If you see me and you drive by me, and I'm jamming in the car to know I'm I'm enjoying myself, okay? So let me be. Alrighty, humans. So, just picked up all the product. Got an inch of space left in this car. So we're just gonna head back to the bar and drop everything off. So it is absolutely incredible what this Volkswagen Beetle can fit in the back. Insane. Probably $1,500 worth of groceries. Okay, so we got the car moved, so now we get to unload. Thank God for Starbucks just giving us bitches life every day. <laughs> oh, thank you. Mm. You guys, it really is the cart for me. This cart has changed the game for me. I used to literally drag these in almost like one at a time. And now, boom game changer and now we do the unload I mean it really is like a mini grocery store in here so shelves are stocked and now we have to stock all the liquor who's behind me okay so liquor is stocked but you always have to check your orders because there's always gonna be, you know, not always, but 
you know, we're not all robots, so there's gonna be mistakes. Okay, so this is our communication board, and then I just go through and cross off everything I got today. This is what is left that I need, so to be continued. Alrighty, friends, so this was the list today. It is currently 10.43 p.m. Uh, last thing we have to do is put prices in um, in the POS because we had to make a new menu. Unfortunately, I had to raise my prices. Just the price of goods have like skyrocketed. Um, I can only speak for me and kind of what I'm dealing with and going through, but um, it is just hard as hell to get you know, all my normal product in, and then the prices of everything have, I mean, even to like salad dressing have went up. Chicken wings, my friends, is a delicacy. Um, they went up $68.99 a case, bro. Like, that is insanity. Um, so yeah, let me know. Shout out if, um, you know, your local, your favorite place, your favorite bar restaurant to go to, if, their prices have changed or if some of your favorite menu items you can't get right now um yeah let me know that's what i'm that's what i'm dealing with okay guys last thing and we're gonna wrap this tuesday up is i just want to add that this is the thankless part of the job this is the part of the job that not everybody gets to see you know, not everybody gets to see that you just worked your ass off today, that you just put 16 hours in. It's 11.48 at night, and since I woke up, I have been doing all things beach house today. And sometimes I just don't know if people really see how hard I work or, or how much I care about my business. So yeah, I just wanted to add that in. And all you guys out there that own a small business, I see you guys, pat yourself on the back. You're doing great because not everybody is willing to sacrifice and put the work in and work 16 hours in a day, you know? That's something to be proud of. And at the end of the day, you know what you do. You know how hard you work. You know how much you care. And if not everybody gets to see that, what can you do, you know? You know what you do. So that's that's all I got. <laughs> that's all I got. Thanks for listening to me, bitch, for a, a little two seconds, okay? I appreciate it. <laughs> so that's all I got. We're going to wrap this Tuesday up and call it and start tomorrow. So peace for now. Bye, guys. Alrighty, so got the product in the car. It is raining on me today. I must have that coming, you know. Can't always be rainbows and butterflies over here. So now I'm headed to the GFS, get rained on a little more, and back to the bar to unload in the rain a little more. All right, so it's a paperwork kind of day. Um, just booking bands. And you actually have to start in 2021 booking bands for 2022 and especially like the bigger more popular bands like they book out sometimes like years in advance it's wild so you got to start in 2021 so yeah we're just booking bands today we're doing deposits we're paying bills we get to use our stampy thing i love this this is like this has been such a game changer in my life just this little puncher so i don't have to write it major time saver invest it's worth it the little things like that i swear just like brighten my day no so yeah we're just planners planners are so important so just looking through scheduling doing parties for the years in advance so I think that's why time goes so fast, like in this bar industry. Like I swear, like it's been, like how did, how is five years go by this fast? Like I have no idea. So, yep, just know, being organized is so important.
organization, just all the planners all the time. <laughs> All right, so for 2021, I feel like the biggest challenges this year, this was probably my most challenging year in the industry. Um, you know, number one was finding staff that right in the heart of spring, summer, my busiest time, that was really rough. Um, but much like everybody- Business still recovering from pandemic shutdowns and partial capacity rules is dealing with yet another problem these days, and it's a serious shortage of workers. You know, it, it wasn't just me, it was everywhere. Um, so that was really tough, took a big hit on the business. Um, the other biggest challenge, I would say just inflation, the price of goods really, really made a significant, you know, a significant rise. So, and then also the un, the availability of goods was challenging. I would say, I would say that was the hardest thing to deal with. I feel like customer base was there. People were out like spending money. I would say business wise, it was good. It was just more of like an internal, you know, an internal struggle, I guess. So I guess those are my biggest challenges this year. Um, but I think from challenge makes you stronger, makes you smarter, makes you have to pivot, makes you have to open your eyes to, you know, just variables that can happen. So I am all in all, it was the toughest year, but also it's the most, I'm, I have so much gratitude and gratefulness for this year because it was so challenging. And I'm just... Just glad we made it. <laughs> so 2021, we're wrapping it up. So we are doing kitchen things today. Um, so I have printed off pictures of some of our um, more popular, you know, menu items and what they need to look like, you know, portion control. Consistency is everything. It's really, I'm not saying we're perfect, but you know, you gotta strive to do better. Um, so having these pictures, it's a visual of what things need to look like. I was so blessed with my, you know, look at this. The like presentation is everything. It's a simple shrimp cocktail, but when you do it right, like that's a vibe, you know? So yeah, my first cook, he was such a blessing. He knew, he knew what he was doing and he taught me so well of like what things should look like. Uh, so yeah, I would say consistency is the biggest thing. Kitchens can be really expensive. So got to make sure your, you know, portions are straight. These tacos, oh my God, <laughs> they're so good. But yeah, so just making sure things are consistent. Portions are right. Um, no matter who's cooking, it shouldn't matter who's cooking. The last thing you want to hear is, oh, well, who's cooking tonight? You know, it's like, oh, that means you're not consistent. So important stuff. That's what we're dealing with today. Okay, so these receipts are just from this year um, to current. And just inflation is real, guys. It is real. If you can see those numbers. Oil, like fryer oil used to be 1850 is now 43, 43.39. So, I mean, everything costs more right now. And these are just the ones that stand out to me. Chicken wings, forget about it. Forget about it. They're a fucking delicacy now. And that's when you can get them. That's when you can get them. You gotta charge an arm and a leg for them now. <laughs> Pun intended. Um, <laughs> was that a chicken joke? All right, it's getting late. <laughs> All right, fuckers, <laughs> I'm back home. I'm just going over my menu. I'm out of about seven different items this week, so that's kind of tough. I am, I've been able to substitute a few, so that's cool, but 
also it just is kind of shitty like so if you guys come in you can't get what you normally want if the warehouses are out like i just can't get it man it sucks so yeah that's the dealio you know it just is what it is it's the covid19 aftershock like what there, nothing we can do what do we want to do we can't so yeah yeah all right so it's saturday um the bar is taken care of everything is a go everything is legit they got change they got product they got all the tools they need to do an amazing job so i'm here and i am enjoying myself a little drinky drink because it's saturday um also you guys i just have to tell you this gym bean peach is so good like it is so good trust me it is so amazing so i hope you guys are having a good saturday hope you're having fun be safe cheers um i am going to go enjoy myself tonight because i fucking deserve it i just worked my 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 butt off because i'm a modest lady i worked my butt off this week so i'm gonna go have um i'm gonna meet up with some friends and we're gonna have a good time, hopefully.